Thailand is famous for a couple different industries. One of those is harvesting rice. In order to harvest rice, you need a rice tractor. But because it's the country of Thailand and the people of Thailand love to modify anything with an engine, these rice tractors are fully customized with turbocharged diesel engines and make more horsepower than your daily driver. And guys, get this. They said I could drive one of the turbocharged tractors. I have no idea how they work. They don't even have a steering wheel. I've never driven a tractor in my life, but I can't say no to that opportunity. This tractor and this tractor might look the same, but they're not. They serve two different purposes. As you see this tube, the rice is put into the machine and rice shoots out this tube. While at the same time, you see this right here, this system squirts water and fertilizer into the ground. What this one does is it trims the rice plants with these blades. All of this swings out, it gets super wide, and it goes throughout the entire field trimming the rice plants. At least that's what I'm told. I wanna to make this very clear. I don't know shit about planting rice, and I don't know shit about tractors. Every bit of this, all of this, the cab, Everything is made totally by hand here in this workshop. The engines are custom done to spec as well. A lot of them, kind of the standard go-to engine is a Yanmar four-cylinder turbo diesel. That's what's in this tractor. I've heard of Yanmar before. I think they have a facility where they manufacture engines in Georgia, where I'm from as well. But the difference between this one and the one that was sitting outside is this one has an upgraded 35 millimeter turbo. It's pretty funny because they say it's an upgraded turbo, but I mean, look at the size of it. I still have a GTI back in America, and we always say, the turbos that come factory on Volkswagen GTIs are like pea shooters, but that truly is a tiny turbo. And remember, that's an upgraded turbo, a total of 35 millimeters of upgraded turbo. But if you wanna be a big dog, if you wanna make some real horsepower, this is what you end up building. And this one uses an Isuzu D-Max 4JJ inline four, 1.9 liter turbo diesel and this one, of course, has an upgraded turbo. So I've asked them about horsepower and torque specs, and that's kind of an issue here because you would imagine they would struggle to put one of these on a dyno. So you really don't know what kind of like wheel horsepower it makes. I don't think you would even call it wheel horsepower. It'd be what, track horsepower? But they anticipate about 200 horsepower and about 300 foot pounds of torque out of the Isuzu 4JJ. And remember, the point of these things is to move through a rice field. It's not top speed. So the goal is torque. I'm gonna let you guys check out the interior because the interior is wild. It includes deathy gauges, a bunch of titanium knobs. It even has a train horn. Oh, wow. Oh, I didn't know it was hooked up. I didn't know that was on. I pressed the button, not thinking it was actually going to turn the train horn on. Oops. I scared the shit out of everybody within a 15 mile radius. Look at all this. This is wild. All the switches, gauges. I love for racing use only. Everything is titanium for uh, monitoring, I guess, around the vehicle, which I guess would be difficult. Dude, there's so much going on here. This is just crazy. Like, what is the point of this titanium bar? I don't get it. Whatever. It looks cool. I guess these are, I'm guessing this is how you operate it. I'm going to find out soon enough. Bro, this is crazy. While I'm sitting here with this beautiful LED lit wall of subwoofers behind me, I want to remind you guys, if you plan on actually traveling in 2022, there's a couple things you really need. There's a mandatory thing, in my opinion, once you start to leave your home country, is a VPN. And today's sponsor is, once again, NordVPN. They're the VPN service I've been using. If you go to nordvpn.com slash cbmedia or just use the coupon code at checkout, which is CB Media, you'll get a massive discount off a two-year plan 
and one month for free. And it's seriously something that I use on a daily basis. When you leave your home country, you're going to have an insane amount of struggles accessing certain websites. A lot of banks, a lot of financial institutions, and certain websites will block you if your IP address is not in the country they do business in. They do this to protect themselves from fraud, but it becomes a real problem. Like just the other day, I was finally able to pay off my Volkswagen GTI, the one I was talking about earlier. And I went to log on to the institution that I had my loan through, and guess what? I was blocked. All I did was change my IP address back to Atlanta, and boom, I had no problem. I was able to log on and make my final car payment. But remember, go check out NordVPN, nordvpn.com slash cbmedia, or use the coupon code cbmedia at checkout. Okay, it's time to crank this baby up. Hear this turbo diesel scream. Time to roll some coal. How does this thing even work? Oh my God. Bro. I was making a joke. I thought that was a joke. This is a turbocharged rice tractor that rolls coal. Only in Thailand. Only in Thailand. Did you see that turning radius? Holy crap. I need that in Bangkok. Here comes the other one. Whoa, what the hell are these things? This is, this is weird. Shit. So the guy's gonna do a bunch of cool stuff for us. First, I wanna see how it launches from a dig. When's the last time you've seen a turbo tractor? launch from a dig. I wonder if it has two steps or traction control. <laughs> oh my God, that is hilarious. That thing would probably beat most of your cars from a stoplight. <laughs> That's great! That is great! The tweeters and the mids. Dude, I don't know if you guys can hear that, but that thing is pretty loud in there. Nice! Jamming, bro. I mean, you need some good tunes while you're tending to your rice field. This video is probably gonna get demonetized because of all this indecent exposure. We've moved the machine to a separate location that's safer for me to drive it, and I'm actually going to be able to take it out into a rice field. But before I take it into the rice field, I need my friend PX to explain to me how to operate this machine. Let's go, let's do this thing. Okay, so these levers operate the machinery that you use to actually do the rice farming. We're not doing any real rice farming today. I'm just taking this thing for a spin. So the only levers I need to know is this goes frontwards and backwards, and this goes side to side, right? That's it? Oh, man.
controls officially work. It's time to take this bad boy out into the rice field. Let's go do this thing. Oh my God, I cannot believe I'm doing this. Get out of the road, ducks. Oh my God. Oh shit. Oh shit. Insane. That was so weird. And I truly understand now why they build these things for torque, not horsepower. Because to be able to run this thing, to run these tracks through this deep mud pit, what is going to be a rice field, just takes an absolute ridiculous amount of torque. Thank you for watching another video here on the CB Media YouTube channel. If you enjoyed it and you made it this far, make sure to give this video a like. Make sure that you're subscribed, and I'll see you in another YouTube video very soon. Peace.